Ray Grimstick. It's me, Corky Paul, the illustrator of Winnie and Wilma Picture Books. We'd love to visit your schools or your libraries or your book festivals online or live with the real me. Now, if you love reading, well, you can read your Winnie the Witch. I read various Winnie the Witch stories and I get lots of audience participation. For instance, I would like you all to say abracadabra. We've got to count to three first. Are you all ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Excellent. Now, let's read this bit from the Winnie and Wilbur, well, Winnie the Witch. One day, after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up her magic wand. She counted to three. Let's go. One. Two, three, abracadabra! <gasps> uh oh, Wilbur was a black cat no longer. He was bright green. Right, so that should give you a flavor of the reading. Now, if you love drawing, what I do is in each class, I do a drawing of Winnie and Wilbur. And what I've taken to doing is getting Winnie and Wilbur drawing them on their broomstick. And lots of children have been using their imagination and asking me to change Winnie's broomstick into something else. So I've had children ask me to do Winnie's broomstick like a hot dog, like a cucumber, like a, a, a rocket, an umbrella. So today I'm going to do Winnie's broomstick like a fish. Right, so let's get my pen. So we've got to remember we've got to have Winnie sitting on a broomstick, but it's a fish. So let's draw the little handle here first, just so we get, and there's the broomstick handle. Now we'll put the fish's face over that. Give him two little beady eyes there. There you are. And there's his little mouth. And give him a nice big belly like that. Right, and then put when he's sitting on the little fish. And then he's got a little tail over here. And another little bit of his tail down here. And then we take the broomstick coming out at the back here. And then we put some little bristles. Little bits of string to hold it. More bristles, and then make it look like a witch's broomstick. With these lovely spiky bristles of broomstick. And put some little details on the fish's tail. Give him some dorsal fins, some scales. Scales are good because you just draw them like little curly, curly cuts. Okay, and he's going to have little flippers, little flippy here. Okay, now I'm drawing really quickly, boys and girls, because we don't always have a lot of time. So, let's take some water. When you do watercolour, you always got one dry to clean your brushes and the other dry to mix your colours with. Right, so first of all, we're going to do the light colours. Let's put a little bit of yellow in our fish here. Fresh water, a little bit of yellow. Right, the yellow tail. Okay, and then we also, I think when he's always got a brass cap on your broomstick there. Alright, put more yellow there. And then we take, um, Let's take a nice green for the fish. Yeah, nice green there. Make sure the eyes won't stay white. Little green flippers. Okay, and what's great about the watercolors is you can mix the colors on the paper. So you can see I'm blending the green with the yellow there. And you're going to give a nice strong green tail. There you are. Okay, clean the brush. I'm going to make the broomstick black because it's when he's out. So we put a little bit of blue in the black. Oh, that's a trick. Maybe you paint black, always put a little bit of blue, and then put a little bit of black on top of it, like that. Black broomstick handle. There you go. How's that look? So, if you would like us to visit your schools, your libraries, or your book festivals, contact me, or Winnie and Wilbur, and uh, we will promise you many, many magic moments. Online, or live. Bye!